Good morning to you. Uh, I've come to the Samoong Road. I don't want to be sensationalist, uh, I'm just interested. And I wondered as to whether if I went out to Wards Samoong, uh, I might witness the air actually change uh, because there is a bit of wind about and the fires apparently have now been controlled. I want to find out also as to whether they've actually been extinguished. Well, at the moment, I'm stood up on top, uh, well above the wonderful resort uh, filled valley here and uh, I'm directly behind the Chantry Kiri Chalet uh, Resort in Chiang Mai. Absolutely beautiful place. I'll leave a note in the description below. And all throughout this valley, this part of the Samung Road Valley, uh, is full of these exclusive, really beautiful resorts. And uh, near to this one is a coffee shop. Just going to go and have a coffee. Well, I think I'm going to give this place a miss, actually. Um, not only am I likely to force them to switch their coffee machine on, which won't be ideal for a nice coffee this morning, uh, but it doesn't look as if it's really ready to serve people. There's plenty of signage and uh, there's plenty of you know, appearance that it may become uh, open, but maybe not today. Uh, the fact that people see this sign as they come in makes me think it's maybe a men-only club. What do you think? Wife exit. So maybe it's for the fit young man. Not the wife. And certainly not me today. I'm going to pass on this one. Lovely sound of the cicadas this morning. Gorgeous. Really full. Ellie Finn Farm and Cafe. Jamie? Hey, hey. Cob my cat. Oh, cookie, do I cut? Cob my cat. Well, I've just wasted myself 60 baht just to come here, really. Um, I asked the lady at the bar uh, who did the training and she said that uh, the owner of the place trained her because uh, the owner had been trained and I can tell you that the coffee was horrible uh, it's not very nice and for 60 part it's well overpriced for what it is uh, you're paying for the price of being here at this um, yeah elephant sideshow Here, this family have come along. They've got a basket. They've just donated a hundred baht towards the food, and they're feeding from a basket there the two elephants from this little sala veranda place here. Well, I left the coffee in the cup. I didn't throw it anywhere. Uh, I took two sips. Uh, the second one, after about ten minutes, was still as bad as the first one. Uh, horrible. But um, there we go. I've donated sixty baht. Onwards and upwards. Okay, so I'm on the Samoong Road and I have just come up the mountain and nearly into Samoong. And as you can see, by the side of the road, there is this fire raging. It just creeps on through the forest. You know, I could stamp on this little bit and mount my, sh mount my shoes and burn my feet. I could stamp on this little bit here. It will come out to the road and go out in a moment, but this fire will go on through all of this tinderbox, as I've always referred to it, and those cicadas will have to find a new home for the time being. All of the leaves of bamboo burn, but the actual bamboo takes a lot to make that 
light up. So what we have here is a clearing of undergrowth and you can hear the popping and banging going on in the background. It will rip through here. Uh, it will take all this away. And all that will be left is that high nitrogen ash undergrowth ready for the elephant in the room. Yep, head top. And head top is a mushroom. Head top is a little, looks like a little truffle, but it's growing above the ground. And it's a, a mushroom that, I don't know what you see in it. I tried some a few years ago and it's just like, um, well, I like mushrooms, but I don't like head top. It, it, it has no, has, it's got a very earthy taste to it. And to be quite honest, it ought to have a barbecue taste to it. But um, this nitrogen ash uh, rich undergrowth will uh, prosper. The growth, the crops of head top that will happen throughout the mountains. Well, I've made it through to Samoong. Uh, I had a little drive up and down the valley and looked at the mountain sides. They, they look so scorched, it, not just from the sun, but you saw patches of burn there too. Uh, I think the fires uh, are still going on up the valley. And as you'd have seen on the journey here, there are sporadic fires along the route as well. There's just so much fire in the forests and you can't actually get to the forest uh, places off the road very easily. And of course, we see it when we're near it on the road, but we can't actually get to you know, where it's extending into the forest. I've come to my favourite little coffee shop here in Samung, Oi Kao. Uh, it's actually Oi Kao, the, the better one. So what did you cut? One need long bird, mate. Did you now, uh, espresso, me uh, kua kem, mate. Okay, now uh, espresso ron, tantini cup, got my cup. There's two oi cows, and as you'll see uh, from the uh, link above, I'll uh, leave you a, uh, a previous video link uh, where I visited both and the other oi cow is a bit more expensive but and the coffee is not so good either but the coffee here is very very nice indeed the ambience you get when you come through the door here is brilliant and the, the lady behind the counter very 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 welcoming uh, the nalak factor it's just it's got just so much charm it's beautiful yeah coffee's got a really nice dark creamer very nice that's gorgeous oh it's well worth the journey out here and for 50 baht parsip baht for a delightful coffee i mean i popped in on the way here to that other place uh, that uh, is a an elephant farm uh, they're not farming elephants it's uh, in a jungle setting and they have some elephants and they've now got a coffee shop there, uh, part of the Patara chain. 55 baht for that coffee and it was absolutely awful. It had been pulled too long, it was, it was obviously too weak. Uh, there was a lot of water but also uh, I don't think the coffee was very strong either. So this is very, very nice. I can recommend this place. Gorgeous. I'm enjoying this coffee. You can hear the cicadas in the background, but there's also the birds here, because there's lots of undergrowth, there's lots of um, trees and shrubs and insects and bugs. It's a very nice spot. Katortma, Hong Nam Yu Nai Kap. Do you need any? Oh, okay, Kap, Kopma Kap.
I couldn't resist uh, going up and having a look around. Uh, I've come up to the Samoon Forest viewpoint. This is on the Samoon Loop. Uh, this is the 1096 section, uh, which is going back to May Rim. Uh, I'm going to turn around now and go back to, down to the south section, uh, back down to Hangdong. Uh, you can see out over the valley here. You can't see any fires, but uh, the valley is just uh, hanging with, uh, or should I say, smoke is just hanging in the valley. Uh, it's just like a blanket. And this view that we're seeing here is what we experience in Chiang Mai, in the city, in the, in the suburbs, uh, because right now I'm slightly elevated. I'm up on top of a mountain. And that cloudiness down there is what we have in our lungs all the time during this period of time. I've done it for the last 17 years, I'll do it for another year and I'll do it next year. This is how we live here. Uh, I could get all passionate and irate about why and I could get all upset about why aren't people doing enough. Wow, this is nature and this is a climate, this is the natural environment that is going to turn over from actually lush through to dry and lush again. So come back in a few months time and you'll see this growing all the new green shoots as many of the trees are around here right now. So thank you for joining me on this trip out to Samoon. I just wanted to get out of the house and you know, get behind the wheel and just go somewhere and see what was happening. And uh, not being sensationalist, as I said earlier, I don't, don't, don't want to just sort of point at fires and say, oh, look, 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 look. I just want to, you know, experience and share that experience with you. Anyway, see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.